Have you ever noticed that little trick that chefs do where they toss the food in the pan with just a little flick of the wrist? It's a technique called the saute snap. And it's an excellent way to keep food moving when sauteing or stir frying. Saute means to jump in French and the whole idea behind sauteing is to get an even browning on your food to achieve complex flavors and aromas. And the key to even browning is to keep the food moving. You can just use a spatula to toss the food around, but the saute snap is more efficient and well, <laughs> it just looks better. So let's do it. <sighs> Hello, I'm Adam. I'm a home cook on a journey to learn more about food and cooking from history and the environmental impact to new recipes and ways to cook. And today in our basic series, we're looking at the saute snap. I'm demonstrating with peanuts, but you can use anything cut into small pieces. Obviously, this technique won't work for large cuts of meat or large whole vegetables like peppers or aubergines. Ideally, you'll want a pan with sloped sides so that the food slides back into the pan when it's tossed. Personally, I like to use a combination of the spatula and the saute snap to keep the food tossed. What I do is I grab the pan with my non-dominant hand like so. If the pan's heavy, you can just put the spatula aside and use both hands. It's not cheating, but this pan is a good way for me to do it one-handed. Basically, you want to kind of tilt the pan up so all the food crowds at the tip. Then with a flick of the wrist, you want to flick the pan towards you, tossing the food up in the air and, hopefully, if all goes well, the food will land back into the pan. This technique will take some practice. Yeah, even while I was filming this, about half of the peanuts that I was cooking ended up on the floor. You can try practicing by actually cooking something, like peanuts like I'm doing here, or with vegetables like onions or peas. Or you could just practice the technique without heat with dry peanuts or dry beans. Let me know how you get on. Thank you so much for watching. I'm constantly cooking, experimenting and researching to learn more about food and cooking. And I share what I've learned every week. If you want to learn more about the food that you cook and better ways to cook it, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.